Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another daily video here at 88 Rotors Off-Road. We're bringing you another Forerunner compilation. We're going to start today's video with this 2020 Forerunner TRD Off-Road. We're going to do a Fox 2.0 IFP setup for this one for both front and rear with some camber tubular uniball upper control arms in the front and we're also doing some old man emu rear lift springs. For the wheels and tires we're going to go with some method NVs. These are the MR305s in a 17 by 8.5 with a zero offset in a matte black finish. And for the rubber on this one, we're mounting up a set of 285-7017 BF Goodrich All-Terrain KL2 tires. Our shop, 88 Rotors Off-Road, is located in the city of South Omani, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, please reach out to us anytime by phone during regular business hours or you can message us through the contact form by clicking on the link in the description below. Do you have a 4Runner yourself? Drop a comment down below and let us know the top 3 things you like about your 4Runner and then list the 3 things you like the least about your 4Runner. Let's get the comments going guys! And there it is, this project is now complete. And here's a closer look at the front end suspension with the Camberg arms and Fox coilovers installed. Wheels here, once again, are the Method MR305s with the BFG KO2s. Next up, we have a 2020 Forerunner TRD Pro in an army green color, coming in for a King's package. For this setup here, we went with some King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers adjusted to about 3 inches of lift. Camber tubular uniball upper control arms were added to maximize articulation and to correct the alignment angles as you can see here. For the rear, we installed some King's 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks with adjusters and some Old Man Emu rear lift springs. Now that the suspension lift has been installed and there's no more need for it to be on the rack, we move it over to the side so we can do some wiring for the customer. Next up, we have this 2020 Forerunner Limited. We're installing a set of Bilstein 5100s on this one with some Old Man Emu lift springs for both front and rear. Wheels chosen for this one are the Method MR702s. This one's in a 17 by 8.5 size with a zero offset in the bronze finish as you see here. Tires used will be the Toyo Open Country AT3s which are a new tire that were just released. We're going to be doing the popular size of 285-7017. Thank you. 
Here's a closer look at the Old Man Emu rear lift spring with the Bilstein 5100 shocks. Swinging over to the front end, we also installed some SPC ball joint upper control arms and some Bilstein 5100s with Old Man Emu lift springs. setup here is pretty much complete. Our tech Alex is now going through all of his nuts and bolts and double checking their work. In one of the previous videos, someone commented that us installing the wheels and tires onto the vehicle with it up in the air like this will break someone's back, but we actually totally disagree with that. It's actually easier for us to mount a wheel and tire onto the vehicle at this height. You don't have to bend over to break your back doing so. You actually have more leverage and control when you do it properly this way. Bending over and doing it while you're on the ground is actually going to be the real backbreaker on that one. And here's the original shocks with the x-ray system that we disabled. All limited model 4Runners need to have their fender liners modified to clear a 285-70-17 properly with this wheel offset. Have you had a chance to post in the comment section? List the top 3 things you like about your 4Runner and the 3 things you like the least about your 4Runner. Let's get the comments going guys! Back on the ground and looking good. Wheels are going to be torqued down to spec and we're going to bring it over to the side so we can install a Prinsu roof rack on it.
Prince Rag is now on and with a quick detail and wipe down, the vehicles can be brought out for a quick test drive before we hand the keys back over to the customer. That's pretty much going to be a wrap for today's 4Runner compilation. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. We appreciate you guys stopping on by and checking us out. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on that notification bell so you get alerted every single time we post a new daily video. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Together, we can get through this COVID-19 pandemic. Take care, guys.